Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the easily damaged parts on the S17 hash board. The first chip is the ASIC chip, which is the primary chip for the hash board for computing. If the ASIC chip is damaged, the hash board will have a low hash rate or zero hash rate. Let's look at this chip. It is the temperature sensor chip of the hash board. If damaged, the control board will not be able to read the temperature of the ASIC chip and PCB board. These two chips are signal conversion chips. If these two chips are damaged, the control board will not be able to read the return signal, and the hash board will report zero. These four identical chips are MOS tubes. After damage, the power supply will not be able to supply power to this domain, an ASIC chip. Let's take a look at this chip. The chip is a boost chip. Once damaged, the boost circuit will not be able to boost the voltage normally. Now we are talking about a PIC chip. If the PIC chip or the files inside has a problem, the control board will lose control of starting and stopping the hash board. This very important chip is a memory chip, which stores the code of the hash board. After the chip is damaged, the hash board will not be able to start normally. Before repairing the hash board, you need to use the editor to save the program inside, and then copy it to the hash board after repair. The chip here is 1.8 volt LDO tube. If it is damaged, the chip in this domain will not work properly. This is PLL 0.8 volt chip. When the chip damaged, the power supply of the ASIC chips in the current domain will be abnormal. It is the voltage regulator chip, which also provides LDO 1.8 volt power supply for the chip in this domain. If the chip is damaged, Remember not to replace it with the aforementioned MP2019 chip.
Well, these are the commonly damaged chips on the S17 hash board. If you have any questions, please leave a message.